Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Jessica. I want to first say thank you to everyone who's new and who's subscribed to this channel as well as who joined the Facebook group. It's really great to connect with you and I encourage you to connect with each other to expand your inner knowledge and awareness too. So in today's video, we're going to be diving a bit further into a topic that I slightly covered in one of my previous videos titled The Event Timeline Change Illusion Exposed. I'm going to put a link to that video below for you to take a listen to first if you haven't already. It'll give you a bit more context about what we're going to be talking about in this video. We're going to dive into information that I've been getting about a possible shifting and changing of energy when it comes to some of these 3D institutions, more specifically the financial, government, and healthcare markets. So in order for the complete shift and split into 5D New Earth, we have to understand that the 3D illusions of programs paradigms, fear, and duality have to, in a sense, crumble first. And in this crumble of lower frequency 3D, the higher frequency New Earth 5D can then be fully brought forward and built. I'll bring in a channel transmission from Abe's perspective in just a little bit. They want to first do an energy update to what's been happening on the planet before we dive into the whole shift in 3D institutions topic. So in this energy update, they're going to bring in information tying things back to Lemuria and the information that I shared in part one of Inner Lost Knowledge series, that video about Lemuria and Atlantis. So be sure to watch that video first and it'll give you a little bit more context about some of the information that will be brought forward. Um, I'll put the link to that video below. And this video kind of brings together the whole um, ancient civilization, inner lost knowledge, Lemuria and Atlantis, tying into the whole shift in 3D institutions as well, which is really interesting. And as you can tell, all the information that comes forward is layering on top of each other. So it'll be good to listen to all the previous videos first before listening to this one. Okay, so let's get into the channeled transmission. So Abraham says, think journey to water. Journey to water must be about thinking about not thirst, but thinking about how to get to the reality of water in terms of your journey to the water, meaning very much you need to voyage to water in hopes of receiving water and quench of thirst rather than voyaging to water because you are so thirsty. Thirst in the heat finds you in more thirst. Whereas focusing on how to get to the water supply in the midst of thirst and heat will get you to the water supply much quicker than focusing on how thirsty you are. Journey of releasing 3D reality and shifting into 5D reality is very much like the voyage to the water supply. Energy of 3D world makes you thirst for new earth 5D. Opening supply of energy of New Earth 5D will not get you to New Earth 5D. And this is because opening the supply of energy is not a reality. It's only energy or the illusion or belief. They go on to say, knowledge of New Earth 5D will not get you to New Earth 5D. And this is because just having knowledge of New Earth 5D is not the reality. It's only energy, illusion, knowledge. They go on to say, Only being able to efficiently open your heart and mind to New Earth 5D will get you to New Earth 5D. Not the illusion or belief of hindrances. Not the illusion or belief of duality. Not the illusion or belief of hate not the illusion or belief of losing battle with energy of lower, jostled frequencies. None of these will get you to New Earth 5D. Opening your mind to new ideas and new final gilded thoughts of others will help to carry you to the water supply in no time. 
energy of thirst cements the energy of not having the knowing that all is truly well in your heart and mind. Opening your heart and your mind cements the illusion or the belief of love and oneness and hinders duality. Knowing that all is truly well in the world will give you more than enough water to drink when you reach the water supply. In knowing that all is truly well, you are able to sense the open energy of duality and the frequency of not light, also meaning darkness, as losing the battle, very much so. Journey to get to New Earth 5D will not be a walk in the park. Reality is that you will have thirst, definitely at times, but keeping in your heart and mind somehow that all is not only truly well, filled with absolute abundance, but that knowledge of pointed new earth journey will unfold fillingly, perfectly, absolutely, and interestingly well. Knowledge of illusion on your planet is unfolding at this time. Gilded opening of portal between illusion of duality and illusion of oneness. Very much like the portal of energy that was opened lovingly by Gaia for Lemurians to visualize the gilded fall of Atlantis. And if you haven't yet watched part one of Inner Lost Knowledge of Lemuria and Atlantis, go watch that video first to give you more context about this statement and what Abe is talking about in regards to this portal because this portal is going to be really important in today's message. Abe goes on to say, this energy portal opens the reality between knowledge of finely laced reality of New Earth 5D and finely laced reality of 3D current Earth in the awareness of many people on the planet at this time. Lemuria witnessed the premature fall of Atlantis from the energy portal, but they were not able to do anything in Atlantis. The knowledge made them efficiently able, lowly, to prepare journey to higher ground, or more so, lower ground. Knowledge was lowly, L-O-W-L-Y, because they did know about the shift of Gaia, but the gilded journey to finally relocating was not an easy one. Quote, lowly hindered Lemurians after intense pole shift and fall of Lemuria and Atlantis. Hindrances of Atlantis in the portal of energy joined with the energy of oneness in Lemuria at that time. Cellular makeup between you and your past lives in Lemuria and or Atlantis is located in this energy portal, finally opened by Gaia again after all these years on Earth. Finally, the portal between oneness and filled duality is once again open to elementals in oneness frequency. And I asked them, what is filled duality? And they said that it's mostly open energy of duality that's joined with the feeling of fear and suffering and pain. And so they say again, finally, the portal between oneness and filled duality is once again open to elementals in oneness frequency. And so then I asked them, what do you mean by elementals in oneness frequency? And they said that they mean earthly elementals, including people as well as nature and inner earth beings who are open to this oneness frequency. These people and beings are able to perceive this open portal. The portal will, of course, be open to people who are not in oneness frequency, but Abe said that if you're not in the oneness frequency, then it's most likely that you're not going to be able to energetically revere or perceive the portal. They go on to say, in your ability to sense through the portal, you are definitely able to sense worldly joining of duality and gilded fall on your earth planet. Filled with ace energy of final open portal is journey to new earth 5D. In your ability to gildedly sense the filled duality with oneness, you are able to fill your central reality with oneness and love. 
Unhindered illusion of duality in your collective conscious knowledge of New Earth 5D, in ace knowing that all is truly well in the world, despite not wellness after all, will not only bring you into New Earth 5D, but bring you into the gilded lost knowledge retrieval process. So very quickly before I forget, I've been getting a lot of people asking me, what does gilded mean? Because I've noticed that Abe has been adding in the word gilded into their messages a lot lately to describe certain things. And so let me just make a note of what gilded means. So gilded in Abe terminology basically means like something of significance. When gilded comes out, I kind of think like the word golden. Um, but it can also mean like something very rewarding and also sometimes hidden from the knowing mind is what Abe said. So for example, like what I just said in terms of retrieving gilded lost knowledge. So you can kind of translate this into um, retrieving very significant or golden or rewarding lost knowledge that's hidden lost knowledge as well. And it's good to note that Abe refers to both good and bad things as gilded. So even like the gilded fall of Atlantis. From a higher perspective, they don't see the duality of good and bad. They just see everything as oneness and everything is connected. And that these are just moving parts that are playing in perfect harmony with each other, whether it's good or bad. Okay, so getting back to the channel transmission. Um, they go on to say, think lost knowledge retrieval. In standing firm on the knowledge that your heart teems find to be true, bending over backward for lost knowledge to come to you will not be in your awareness, meaning lost knowledge will come easy for you. Ace knowledge retrieval, not knowledge Einstein retrieval, meaning the retrieval of lost knowledge is not hard. It doesn't take Einstein to retrieve your lost knowledge. Illusion of not being able to retrieve your inner lost knowledge lies only in your mind. Retrieving hindered lost knowledge is really easy. It's in your heart or more so central to retrieving lost knowledge is your definite heart ability to pointedly ace love each other and those closest to you definitely hindering your ability to love each other is your filled belief that love is gin rummy or integrated energy of the person beneath the energy of love meaning the energy of the person really stands in the way of your ability to love them this is conditional love based upon energy of the person. Be unconditional in the way that you love each other. Love does not gin rummy or integrate only certain people doing certain things. Fill open hearts with unconditional love and gilded love will absolutely fill your heart with unconditional love. Very many of you affect each other in an intense defining way gilded highly by your past life illusion of definite connectedness lost in Lemuria. And I think they're talking basically about the Abraham soul family, how we are all connected and that we are affecting each other as we share the knowledge that we have, um, especially those of us who connect through past lives in Lemuria. They go on to say, honing energy of Lemuria and Atlantis, knowledge of oneness and love, will absolutely integrate the open portal of new earth energy with energy of where you stand in the energy of duality. So to grasp this sentence a little bit better, what they're saying, and I asked them to clarify, what they're saying is, when you hone your energy and knowledge of oneness and love from Lemuria and Atlantis, what happens is if you stand in the energy of duality currently, if that's where you are right now, your ability to hone this oneness and love energy from your lost knowledge will integrate with this open portal of new earth energy and will bring in that energy of oneness and love into wherever it is that you're standing on the duality spectrum scale so that you're not 
really standing in duality anymore or so that your journey can begin to be released from duality and integrate more oneness and love. They go on to say, opening minds and hearts to more defining knowledge of Lemuria and Atlantis will allow you central access to lost knowledge in your inner lost library. Knowing your lost knowledge is not important to finding new earth inside of you, but it is important for knowledge holders in finding new earth outside of you, meaning, quote, feel it, touch it, taste it, new earth, tangible reality. Lost knowledge is inside all of you. Hindering your ability to retrieve it, most definitely, is your ability to not only love unconditionally, but also not being able to receive love unconditionally. Defining love needs to be redefined in your hearts and minds. Nosedive into loving each other pointedly from knowing that all is truly well, not from a place of knowing that all is not truly well. Gilded opening of your hearts and minds will flow to you once you are definitely lovingly able to do that. Journey to New Earth 5D, knowing that all is truly well, will make standing the heat of the desert much more bearable. Immense love, despite gilded problems on 3D Earth. Illusion of filled duality crumbling will gildedly, knowingly, make your journey much more pleasant in the eyes of Source, because you Jin Rummy or integrate source love into your heart and mind. Not Jin rummying or integrating source into your heart and mind gives you thirst on your journey to lost knowledge retrieval. Lost knowledge is lost. Defining knowing of lost knowledge is your journey in this lifetime. You affect everyone around you and in knowledge of oneness and love gilded by source you are able to absolutely, definitely, gildedly, jollyly (laughs) help others find absolute pointed knowledge retrieval central to their inner journey. Lost in lost knowledge is the definite illusion of purpose in your life. In finding purpose, you affect everyone around you, affecting not renewal of purpose, but remembering of purpose and lost knowledge. Knowledge is able to flow forward and journey to water is remembering who you truly are in the eyes of source. Illusion of thirst is gone and strength is found in knowing that all is truly well. Remember, hindering your ability to sense truly wellness is your hindered ability to love unconditionally. Immense energy of duality is surfacing on your planet, which in your hindered minds, severed from inner gilded source energy, would interpret as inner losing battle with oneness, meaning you will witness occurrences slowly happening on your planet that will begin to uncover gilded knowledge of ultimate duality, not oneness. In the shadows of your duality-based reality are finely laced, absolutely open energy of lost light knowledge. Very much knowledge of light will pointedly bring about increased awareness and knowledge of what has been going on in the shadows on your planet. Laced with energy of not-so-nice things and laced with ability to gin rummy or integrate joining of gilded, lost, lofty knowledge and hindered information, immense staff in inner societies on your planet have been wedlocked together in a web of lies, trickery, absolute love of power, and very much keeping central population stranded in immense poverty and hate and powerlessness, or more so, pilled in the matrix on a power trip of an energetic nature. That was kind of a long run-on sentence, but basically what they're saying is that as more knowledge of light comes forward, it will bring about an increased awareness 
about what's going on in the shadows on this planet, like things that are just not working for society, for the planet, for people as a whole, like these very 3D institutions and societies on the planet are going to be coming more into the awareness of people and people will begin to awaken to all these things that they were never aware of before because they were so much in the matrix on an energetic level. They go on to say, um, describing more about the shadows on the planet. They say, turning people against each other, hurting energy of love and oneness by feeding duality, or more so feeding hate in people. What they're trying to say is that these shadows on the planet, meaning like the not light, the duality, has been feeding hate and duality and fear in the people on the planet. And this, you know, go trickles into everything like their jobs um, and how they interact with each other. And it keeps them siloed from their purpose. It keeps people away from discovering what their purpose is in life. They go on to say that you are guildedly at a time in your Earth's shift when you will be taking back gilded power as people on earth, souls having a human experience, illusion of separation in each other is coming to an end, and joining hearts and minds will more intensely define New Earth 5D, knowing that all is truly well in hearts and minds on your planet. So that was kind of like their introduction to what's going on on the planet energetically at this time. They now want to go into um, information about this 3D institutional, um, quote, collapse of 3D institutions and the building up of 5D institutions. So I first asked Abraham if they could tell me more about this portal of energy that links oneness energy with duality energy because when they told me that I made the huge connection between the open portal of energy that I saw in that past life of Lemuria during their shift and it kind of like blew my mind to connect the dots between the two um, because I'm now beginning to see that connection between why this information and knowledge from Lemuria is so important to what's going on right now. And what came through was, yes, the gilded portal of energy is in the awareness now for Jessica. She can sense the illusion of intense duality next to the illusion and reality of oneness and love. Knowledge of reality of oneness through connection to Abe is in her awareness, so she is able to gildedly not be affected finally by first money but also the intense fear and duality running rampant on the planet right now. Energy of Portal connects both duality with oneness and in your awareness of this portal you are able to gildedly step through first after hindrances are removed ending the gilded duality consciousness in your awareness you are able to step through the portal of oneness and love if you so finally desire to do so. Energy of oneness and love portal is open for everyone. Gilded open portal, Jin Rummy or integrates New Earth 5D energy of oneness and love. It will take you on a gilded ride to reality of New Earth 5D in no time. As long as you, Jin Rummy or integrate, the oneness and love frequencies, lost knowledge, and an open heart and an open mind. Joined with final knowing that all is truly well will help you to walk right through the open portal of oneness and love and rendezvous with New Earth 5D reality. The portal of energy during Lemuria and Atlantis was opened by Gaia for Lemuria to be able to sense the downfall of Atlantis and therefore prepare lovingly. Illusion of journey in Lemurians from the time of the invasion was much too strong in the hearts of some of the Lemurians who survived many hundreds of thousands of years before. 
but who still held in their hearts the knowledge and fear and pain of the invasion, hindering their ability to use the portal for lovingly preparing for next Gilded Age of Gaia was the lost knowledge in the hearts of many orphaned during Lemuria's invasion. They were not in no way able to let go of the fear and devastation from the time of the invasion. Open Portal therefore mixed the gilded oneness and love energy with the energy of the downfall of Atlantis filled with absolute fear and duality. What happened was the gilded energy of oneness and love was lost in the duality consciousness, which then took over and continues to exist to this day. The portal of energy of oneness was disconnected and finally led to the Lemurians and Atlanteans gilded energy of not so great fall on the planet Earth's history. They want to make a note that although this led to duality consciousness on the planet taking over up until today. What's happening right now is through our remembering and retrieving of our inner lost knowledge from Lemuria and other heart and oneness based civilizations on the planet, we're able to pull that oneness and love frequency back up and integrate it fully into our hearts and our minds, which further drives out the duality. And also I want to add um, something that popped into my mind about this whole duality consciousness thing. Um, I had a vision of Adam and Eve, so I think they want to clarify that there has always been duality consciousness, I guess, since Adam and Eve. But what came through was that there was also very much a portal of oneness and love consciousness and energy available to some people on the planet. And so what also came through was that this portal was open to everyone, but only some people chose to utilize it, like the Lemurians. This portal of oneness and love consciousness and energy is once again open, and what came through was that by honing oneness and love, you connect and integrate with that energy portal. So the portal back in Lemuria and Atlantis was opened by source through Gaia Earth. And this time the portal has opened once again due to the shifting planet into this new age of Gaia. And Source has opened this oneness and love portal, um, this time through the central sun, because the central sun helps to bring forward our inner lost knowledge through the portal. They go on to say that the knowledge of the open portal this time around hinders, not helps, the not light and duality, because in knowing about the portal hindered the last time for the light knowledge holders, it joins with information of lost knowledge holders retrieval of lost knowledge. This helps light workers to stand firm in their gilded lost knowledge as final knowing that all is truly well, defining the new time right now as Gaia makes her gilded shift into the new age of Gaia with all the life she loves so much in tow. So this means now that because we know about this open portal, it helps us to connect the dots with what happened the last time so that we can have that knowledge and stand more firmly in knowing that all is truly well and, and holding that light this time around. And if you're a bit lost to this story, again, make sure that you watch part one of Inner Lost Knowledge series, Lemuria and Atlantis. I'm just so fascinated at how everything's tying in together and, and the dots are getting connected, especially with the portal from Lemuria and the portal that's happening now. Like I wasn't able to put my finger on it, but now that I know about the portal connection, it makes so much sense because it's the only way that I can describe this observation of both the duality and the oneness side by side from where I'm standing. So now that I'm more aware of my past lost knowledge and what happened during that time, I can now choose a different path this time. I see that like I'm able to hold the love and oneness frequency now that I wasn't able to hold back then. So keep in mind that through your inner lost knowledge that you're able to bring forward, like 
there's so much more happening on this deeper level that connects you to where you are today and then therefore connects you with where you're going on your journey to new earth 5d so in terms of connecting back to this portal of energy that shows both the duality energy as well as oneness energy i think this time obviously the portal of energy will collapse into the oneness and love frequency consciousness portal of energy in lemuria and atlantis times the portal of energy collapsed into that duality and fear-based consciousness which we were in for so long so as we look at this portal of energy that's open right now on the side of duality we can see all the stuff happening in the world today there is heightened energy in almost every aspect of every corner of society all around the world. And so now I'm going to be sharing a channel transmission of what Abe has to say about the political, financial, and healthcare climates. And keep in mind that we do not approach these topics from a fear-based frequency or awareness. We approach it from a oneness and love-based frequency and awareness. And they want to first remind you and say that listening to this transmission and channeled message not only will hone your own inner love and oneness frequencies, but will also help you definitely to retrieve your own inner lost knowledge that will immensely bring more understanding and clarity to the chaotic, lost illusion of gilded fall of 3D institutions on your planet. We call the fall of 3D institutions on your planet, quote, gilded, meaning significant, golden, or rewarding, because it is only in the fall of 3D institutions that the new earth 5D reality can rise. This is not a time to fear, but a time to embrace gildedly in knowing that all is truly well. So first, Abe wants to talk about how politics and the financial market are intertwined, and they also want to talk about how kind of new options will begin coming forward in 5D New Earth from people who hold lost knowledge about how to make the financial market and the whole political scene more high frequency or 5D frequency filled with more love and oneness. So what came through was that whole knowledge of money and finance is set to change soon, very soon. Illusion or the beliefs of protecting money will be more open to change, defining a new road to ready wealth. Knowledge about money changes in the near future, joined by other institutional changes, sport new ideas for integrating new ways to revolutionize money and financial loans and financial payment systems. Hindering payment options now is incredible greed and wealth amongst the wealthy, defining lower income joining families to spread thin. Lost knowledge brought forward by many people will bring about new payment options and financial loans that work better for high, central, and low joining families and individuals, not only for the top known wealthiest percent of population. Renewing lost financial institutions of the 3D Earth reality opens several new ways for more people in gilded 5D New Earth to make more wealth in several different ways, not just through cash. It hones real love in the hearts of people because love solidifies the intense need to gilded wealth. In terms of new payment options, Open love for each other, gilded love, opens joining or more so connected, gilded central guidance, gin rummy or integrating benefactors who will help many of the lower income gilded communities on the planet, mostly in low income neighborhoods and countries. After the political takedown, politics will also sustain new life. Financial knowing involved with politicians in the past will cement open involvement or more so between gilded politicians and financial love affair. So meaning basically that this intertwinement of politicians and money 
will surface, and with it comes intense cellmate options, meaning jail time for many politicians, not a few, but many politicians. Interesting. Uh, they go on to say, open hunting grounds for politicians on corrupt train to nowhere. Knowledge inside White House efficiently already open. Investigations happening now. Illusion of more power in the government, meaning politicians who usually have more power take the most money. Interesting. Um, <laughs> Politicians, mostly about more power, usually act gilded for the people, but mostly for themselves. Financial loss of money in banks due to or connected to the not great loss of gilded power of politicians. Central to global money was the financial market of the United States. When financial market of the United States goes under, the whole global money-making scheme goes under too, resulting in not-so-great times rolling out globally. Loss of money, loss of spirit in many on the planet, because money has been central to life on your planet for so long. Knowledge about loss of money absolutely, definitely joins many definitely wealthy knowing illusion of 3D Earth investors to lend money to absolutely many people looking to final song for help. Loss of money joins many people on the planet, for loss brings people together real quick. So what they're saying is that through the loss of power of politicians and the whole political scene kind of taking a little downfall, will also connect to the financial market taking a downfall as well. Um, But through this, there will be people, wealthy investors, who have the knowledge of the illusion of 3D Earth. So these are probably more 5D type investors who will kind of step up and help in terms of the whole money situation. So that'll be interesting. I'm going to make a note here for you not to take this or any of this too seriously. Um, This is open information. Um, It is subject to change. All information that I put in this video is not me claiming any sort of truth, but I'm just bringing forward this energy reading that came to me in terms of what's going on the planet right now. The energy of the planet can definitely change to where the outcome can also change in terms of how the 3D institutions will kind of break down. It could go any which way. And so right now at the time of me channeling this information, this is kind of what came through. But again, everything is subject to change depending on the energy of the collective on the planet. So take this information with a grain of salt and just kind of have it in your awareness just in case. So next, I went on to ask them if they could describe to me how politics will begin to change and shift. So basically what they said was the corruption in politics and politicians will immensely help to divert how politics are run, not only in this country, in the United States, but in the world. They said that new knowledge of how to hone the energy of, quote, power or more so quote leadership will come forward absolutely with defining a new way of running joined societies on the planet. So because everything is connected, as 3D institutions begin to fail in North America, the rest of the world will not go unaffected. Political markets across the world are going to be affected and will begin to lose balance as well. What also came forward is that as the financial market in the United States falls, they're not going to be able to take out loans from other countries like China. This will then gin rummy or integrate, defining new ways and knowledge of creating new financial systems within the United States, which then enters us into this new gilded New Earth 5D uh, financial space for new financial systems, new ways of making money, new ways of handling money, and um, probably new money in general. Um, But basically, 
It makes way for a new financial system in the United States, therefore also, no doubt, probably trickling into the entire world. They go on to say that new ways to govern people on the planet will emerge. New thought leaders who are Jin Rummy or who will integrate change, real change, not change Jin Rummied or integrated on the backs of people who come quote last or quote below. Real filled change in final ways of leading people with more compassion and love and reality not in joined absolute power, but in joined absolute oneness and true freedom. They go on to say that for a country based on freedom, you are not free. Losing institutions not tied in freedom brings the illusion or the belief of knowledge of oneness finally and can be achieved in all aspects of your very not currently whole society. I asked if politics around the world are going to be affected and they said yes um, because everything is connected and I also asked about if you know, we would still kind of be separated based on countries. And what came through was, yes, we'll still be separated, but there'll be more in terms of oneness with the, like, there'll be new thought leaders in each of the countries. And although each of the countries will be run by new thought leaders, we'll all be integrated. We'll all kind of like be connected through, um, this new quote political system it'll be more harmonious and more in terms of oneness and really putting the people first i then went on to ask when will the financial institutions break down and again with the whole timeline thing i'm not going to bring forward any timelines um because truthfully it that's just hard to, to pinpoint and to tell and what came through when i asked when will the financial institutions break down is that it's happening on old 3d earth already opens a portal of joining energy between gilded 3d earth money and illusion or belief of loss in order to establish illusion of oneness some people who exist in new earth 5d will not feel the effects loss will not happen knowingly for them because they are not actually affected by money anymore And in terms of what happens, um, I think, after the whole breakdown of the financial system, they said that elements of money are still in effect, like the oscillating open dollar, meaning the, the open US dollar. But lots of money is taken out of bending banks, like major banks, like big banks, New York City banks. Illusion of nice, energetic, and big financial organizations are actually not so nice. After realizing money is gone, financial institutions are able to solidify grants, reverting people to access money from loan investors. Loan investors offer open money to central banks, gilded money, producing more knowledge about gilded money operations instead of banks themselves, definitely. Loss of money joins investors with banks, defining a new way or ways for money management to solidify in a refocused way to provide money to the people on joint, definitely joint minds open to gilded change in somewhat bank institutions. They say somewhat bank institutions because they won't be the banks as we know them today. They're going to be different. I then went on to ask, can you clarify when you said that it would only be happening on 3D Earth? And they said, when money is taken down in the United States financial markets, it rejoins not so big banks immediately. Rejoining banks gives people of lost banks the opportunity to know a joint banking system rather than a big banking system. This means open knowledge transparency, gilded transparency, because more eyes hinkering on trust are monitoring your money, preventing gilded corruption from happening. They go on to say, loss of knowing loans from bank were fraudulent, meaning that very many people are affected in the rolling takedown of the money market. People in 3D Earth are highly affected because they answer to the bank. 
So I asked them to clarify, hypothetically, if I exist in 5D and say I have $10,000 in the bank and the person next to me exists in 3D and they have $10,000 in the bank, I asked, is my money affected? And they said, no. I asked, is my money taken away? And they said, yes. <laughs> um, but then they said, but you can make it back in other ways. It's a gilded renewal of money because people in 5D are not as affected by money overall anymore. And then I said, is the other person in 3D, is their money affected? And they said, yes. And then I asked, is their money taken away? And they said, yes. They explained their money is not gilded money because they are suffering in the loss of it. So basically, if you exist in 5D, your money, yes, will be affected, but you are not going to be affected and you'll be able to make that money back in other ways. It's like you will have a gilded renewal of money. Um, it's like you'll get New Earth 5D money, basically, um, because that's the space that you are interacting with. That's the energy you're interacting with. For a person who exists in 3D, they're very much interacting with 3D energy and they are suffering in the loss of their money. So they're not going to be able to make that money back in a 5D way because they're still focusing very much in 3D. It might take some time for you to simmer on this concept in your knowing mind, but think about it and as you do, it'll, inter it'll start to integrate into your knowing mind. They go on to talk about the timeline of when this is going to happen and they said that hindering timelines somehow is the nosedive of politicians. There's no real timeline for that yet. Cannot pinpoint the exact timeline, but very likely soon. Political climate is on the verge of popping soon. Guilford Island is here, folks, and we are helping you to remember who you truly are so that you can join us on this fantastic knowing adventure of fun, love, joy, fun, empty rides on the Ferris wheel, and silly laughter. Lots of laughter beyond your wildest dreams. Then I went on to ask about healthcare, and what came through was that money changes on your planet in the near future hinders many other institutions like healthcare. Joining financial loss is healthcare loss, not defining loss, meaning it's not a big sacrificial loss. Um, know that there will definitely still efficiently be healthcare on your planet. Lost healthcare knowledge means lost old 3D Earth healthcare systems i.e. healthcare will not just be for the immensely wealthy or smartest doctors. The 3D Earth healthcare systems will shift into higher frequency 5D Earth healthcare systems that will be more beneficial to everyone on the planet. Um, they go on to say that joining healthcare is Guilford Island knowledge holders. Not central, somewhat to healthcare currently, is oneness institutions about manic people. Quote, crazy people find hindrances valuable in New Earth 5D, and they rejoin the population immediately. So here Abe is talking about high frequency people who may be deemed as schizophrenic or may have other mental illnesses due to their inability to fully integrate their higher frequency energy into their 3D physical bodies and minds. Dolores Cannon actually spoke about schizophrenia in people, and she found that through her work and information that came through the subconscious or the higher self, that mentally ill people, especially people with schizophrenia, often were in communication or contact with the spirit realm, but in a way that was harder for them to distinguish between the spirit realm and the physical 3D realm. Dolores Cannon had said that there's no veil between the two or the veil is very, very thin for these people. And so they're able to perceive so much more than just this 3D physical reality. And so obviously they're given drugs to help them cope or numb that part of them or they're put into these mental institutions. To anyone who's been programmed and plugged into this 3D physical matrix, it's, it's not an easy thing to hear or absorb or understand. 
So basically, Abe is saying that people who are deemed as, quote, crazy with high frequency mental illnesses will begin to shift into their 5D lighter bodies. And when they do, they'll better integrate the energy that they're receiving um, through the communication with the spirit realm. Through this better integration, like I'm seeing the body just fitting better with 5D energy where it doesn't fit in 3D from where they are. There's this disconnection between the mind, the energy, and the body in 3D for these schizophrenic or mentally ill people, but it'll start coming together and fitting better together in 5D. And when it does, these people are going to be integrating back into the population immediately. What came through was that lost knowledge of New Earth comes through them, um, and this lost knowledge will be defining New Earth knowledge. They'll begin to contribute their knowledge and join with definitely high-frequency people, not doctors, because there are no doctors in New Earth final timeline. No doctor knowledge and no medicine pharmaceuticals. Most likely, healing modalities are open mostly for natural healers. Joining natural healers lost knowledge holders with information on how to heal most anyone naturally. ACE information meaning valuable information. Lost knowledge information about Lemurian healing techniques opens healing illusion of oneness, not duality. Lost knowledge finds definite knowledge about healing open to everyone. I then asked the question, so how will healthcare insurance change? And what came through was losing insurance and moving towards joining, connecting, cementing together in oneness. There is more in lost knowledge holders information, meaning that there's more of this information that will come through um, in other people, in people who hold that lost knowledge. They go on to say that it's going to be more about oneness and less about roaming financial knowledge in hindered, very hindered, not so great 3D healthcare plans. There will be more room for everyone to get healing. I asked, who will be doing the healing if there are no doctors? And they said healers, not full-headed doctors, will be healing people. Lost knowledge is opening a portal of energy for people to connect with their inner healing abilities. Finally, people will be able to heal themselves after not great situations like accidents, injuries, etc. Healers are activating now. Some are already on your planet. They are able to heal people sometimes after not even knowing that healing has taken place. I then asked, so what's going to happen to the doctors? And what came through was very many knowledge, if that makes sense, joins with healers, not with doctors, but healers, energy healers, ratifying effects on not abnormal, but very normal knowledge keepers about healing from a 5D perspective. They want only to heal people, not about the money anymore. Healing is the ultimate importance. They go on to say that 3D doctors quickly help integrate new healing techniques and modalities with people on Earth. Illusion of medicine definitely hindered people on the planet for quite some time. Illusion of medicine also hindered the strength of natural healing and final truth of lost gilded knowledge of natural healing techniques. Doctors will begin introducing new ways of healing and partner with natural healers, joining the heart and mind together to create new ways to heal people very quickly without the use of prescription medication or drugs. I then asked, does the human lifespan increase due to this new ability to heal? And they said yes. New human lifespan will be joining many. Able to live 100 to 150 years, and knowledge of new lifespan will definitely integrate into people's awareness very soon. Honing after effects of more health joins with new technology that will help people to continue to increase their lifespan on Earth as the years go by. End of life becomes more so about joining with Source rather than just dying. Jin Rummy, or you integrate another life, meaning that you incarnate into another life. 
hindered souls will be able to somewhat join Source again, finally after a very long time away from Source. And they say hindered souls, meaning souls who are farther away from Source or trapped in karma for too long. Then I went on to ask, what is the timeline for healthcare change, new healing techniques, and new lifespan? They did say to rest easy. It is not happening immediately. Not happening until after financial turnover and political onstage corruption takes place. New healing techniques are in the world now and becomes final healing modalities only in a few years after healthcare goes on, quote, trial, meaning after healthcare begins to take a nosedive. Central to healing comes the new lifespan. Some people affected not as quickly as others. Some people affected much more quickly. Healing modalities are on the planet right now. Lost knowledge, gilded lost knowledge, is inside of everyone. Retrieving lost knowledge helps you to contribute to 5D New Earth. In helping to rebuild reality of 5D New Earth, Joining your lost knowledge with others will help to further retrieve lost knowledge. Sharing your lost knowledge will help affect other people in retrieving their lost knowledge. These are exciting times. This is not a time to fear, but again, a time to embrace with oneness and love. During this time of great change, you are fully supported and loved by your star families, your soul families, and by higher frequency energy like Abraham and Source. In oneness, we are Abraham. Oneness and love be with you. And that's it for this video. I'm sorry that it went on for so long. Abe has said that they will gather more information for me regarding these topics as energy unfolds, but they want me to put this video out first to bring some awareness to people and to kind of Um, simmer into your consciousness and your awareness and your energy. So we're going to see what happens. Keep in mind again, don't get too stuck on timelines or expectation or even the information that came through this video. Um, This is just purely for your awareness. Nothing is truth. I don't know what's going to happen. But just let things unfold as they're meant to in perfect timing, in perfect unfolding. Know that all is truly well no matter what happens because we are on the journey into moving into 5D. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.